We begin Local 4 News at 5 with breaking news. The EPA is announcing new lead testing results connected to Flint's water crisis. These are live pictures as officials make that announcement as we speak. Now, you know, it's one of the big questions surrounding this tragedy, and that question is how much lead is in the water right now? Of course, last week the city released some of its results. Today it's the EPA giving us this newest information. Let's bring in Hank Winchester uh, with what we're hearing today. Hank? And we're actually hearing some good news yeah. out of Flint right now. So let me take you through it because this information is just coming into us. In fact, uh, let's get you back out and take live uh, look at this press conference that's taking place. Uh, that is a leader with the EPA, and behind him you'll see somebody from the Michigan Human Health and Services Department, and also uh, Dr. Lori. She's part of uh, President Obama's team brought here to monitor the situation. Here's what we know. They're talking about 10 test results that have now made their way back. And out of those, in regards to filters being used, eight of those 10 show very positive movement. They are saying that there is very low lead in the water when that filter is used, and in some cases not detectable at all. Uh, they are also talking about unfiltered water. Now, in those cases, uh, they have seen undetectable traces of water, but also one case when the water came in at 409 parts per billion, uh, which is considered a danger, and that is why uh, they have been encouraging people to continue to use filters in Flint. Let's take a listen to what they had to say during this event just a short time ago. We were here last week with some really concerning news, and it's great to be able to come back this week um, with better news. I think today's results that Mark shared with you are very, very encouraging. Just to reiterate, last week we were concerned about whether the filters were doing their job. Um, this week's report suggests that um, from what we know so far, they are in fact doing their job. Again, that is Dr. Lori. She is part of the team from D.C. now on the ground in Flint. They've been working to get information out regarding the test results, and as you heard, uh, they feel that things right now moving in a positive direction in regards to water that is filtered. We're also learning that the governor's team may have known about the Legionnaire's outbreak and the possible link to the water in Flint months before that information was made public. You may remember the governor held a press conference uh, just about a week ago to talk about the outbreak, but members of his team were exchanging emails with the DEQ back in March of 2015. Progress Michigan obtaining emails like the one we're going to show you right now. It's an exchange from the DEQ to a member of the governor's team. Jim Henry with the Genesee County Health Department is putting up the flare. He's made the leap formally in his email that the uptick in cases is directly attributable to the river. The accusation is serious and the nature of the communication leaves me thinking we would be advantaged to bring together all the agencies ASAP to share what information we have. The author of the communications uh, director uh, from the DEQ, Brad Werfel, he has resigned. Uh, this situation is, is developing right now. Those emails were just made public uh, by Progress Michigan a short time ago. So now we have the emails that have come out, but also the positive information regarding the water, at least the water that is yeah. filtered in Flint. You know, it sounds like there was so much information. I don't know how much of that information the governor actually knew, but they didn't know what to do with this information once they received it. Right. A lot of the information was being exchange from the DEQ to members of the governor's team. The question is, was the governor brought in and told all of that information? Let's go back to the, I'm with you. I think this sounds like good news that the filters are working. However, it was just last week that uh, Flint residents were told that the water was testing at a levels that were higher than that for which the filters were rated. Right. So my hunch is that you still got a lot of residents who don't quite trust what they're told or who to believe. Yeah, I, I think you the majority of people, yeah, I think the majority of people don't trust, but it, it seems that the news right now is positive it's optimistic but again we're talking about 10 test results so you've yeah, got a yeah. city uh, where they have thousands yeah. of people and thousands of results that need to come in which is why they've been encouraging people to get their water to the fire department that's right and I can't imagine what it's like trying to live on bottled water alone until Constantly. you know for sure yeah, yeah, that yeah. that water is safe. Yeah. it's a struggle yeah. it is all right. all right good to see you good to see you